Hello guys and welcome to the video where I'm going to show you how to use Weed Transfer and how to send large files such as videos and photos via email without compression or losing any quality. So let's begin. So first and foremost you need to open Google or whichever internet browser that you use. Type in Weed Transfer and the first link WeTransfer.com should be the one that pops up. We just open it up and it'll tell you welcome. As you can see it's free, there's no registrations and it's simple file sharing. Sometimes it asks you two different pages, one to go to the free version and one to pay for the pro or the advanced section. Don't do that because we don't like to pay for things, we like the free version. So just click I agree or send me to the free version. So if we just have a look we'll send any one of these videos. So here's a finished version of a video that I've done and I want to send that to myself. We can click and it's on. As you can see, we've got one file added. If you want to do more, by all means, you can just add files and we'll send another. So this time I want a photo to be sent. So we'll send some photos. Then we need to say who we're sending it to. And then lastly, this is where you need your email. So you're the person who's sending it. So you enter your email. You can also send them a nice little message. Sometimes it's just a simple, here's the link, please press the download button, voila. Then you click transfer. Now you get this button which is a new feature that they've added just to make sure that spam emails can't send dodgy downloads to people. So you need to verify that it's you who's definitely sending it. So it's understandable why they've got this feature on. But it's admittedly kind of annoying to do all the time. So we open your email addresses and it's usually the first one. There we go, the code is 414720. We verify that it's definitely us that's sending it. And then voila. And then here we go, it is done. If you're just sending a video, this is all that you need to do. And this is the only part that you need. However, if you're receiving a video, I'll also just quickly show you at the end what it looks like to receive one. Now, if you're receiving a file, you're going to get an email from WeTransfer, giving you the email of the person who's just sent a message to you, so you can double check that it's the person's name that you're expecting one of. And it says, here, there's the message that was sent earlier, and here's a download link. We'll click get your file, mm -hmm. and they're ready to download. Once you download it, it's downloading there as a package. Once it's downloaded on your computer, I use WinRAW, so of course, my two files get put in one folder, there they are, right there, for me to drag to my desktop and use how I want. Now, one of the greatest things about WeTransfer is it is also downloadable on your phone. So if you film something on your phone, you can download the app and then send it to someone directly from there. You don't need a computer. I personally prefer using the computer because it's a bit of a bigger space and it was originally designed for a desktop. They've only recently introduced the app, so the app is still a little bit buggy with, with further development needed for the app. It's a great way to send videos and photos without losing any quality. Perfect for little projects, for school work, courseworks, or business development. So hope you've understood that, hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions or concerns, please by all means let me know.